No, I don't waste no time What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George, social media marketing online coach. And I just wanted to record this quick video today to uh, basically explain how you can overcome um, a drop off that is caused by iOS 14. So if you are in a situation where prior to all of the updates, or let's say prior to the 1st of June, your ads are performing well, your campaigns are performing well, but now these last few weeks, you know, you've seen a major drop off. So ads that were proven to work previously are now no longer performing, how you can sort of overcome that and how you can get those ads to start running again and performing correctly. With that said, quick disclaimer, this is purely based on my own experience in combination with what I've seen other media buyers do in the space as well, okay? So the most important thing for you guys to take away from this video is that this is a method that can work, but ultimately you will need to test this for yourself. And just before we start, I just wanna briefly explain how Facebook's bidding system works, because it's not that those that have the highest bids will automatically win you know, the space online, that is not the case. So in your newsfeed, for those of you that have been watching my channel for long, you know, this will uh, not come as new information to you guys, but in the news feed, you know, you've got uh, on the left-hand side, you've got all your Facebook information, etc. You've got your, your bar at the top where you can select your profile and stuff. And then you've got your news feed, right? And then you've got posts and then you've got an advertisement and then you've got another post and so on and so forth. Okay. So those ads that you see on your news feeds, those are there because an advertiser has basically bidded for that space. That's why it's called media buying. So the media is bought by an advertiser and that is then shown on your newsfeed, okay? Why has why are you seeing that particular advertisement? Because the audience that the advertiser selected matches, you know, the audience that you are in. So let's say you are interested in uh, football and the media buyer or the advertiser starts targeting people interested in football, then chances are you will see that advertisement, okay? But that space, so the advertisement that is set up is not shown to those that have the highest bid because Facebook's number one priority is the user experience. The thought process behind that is that if users are on the platform, if users are unhappy, if users have a negative experience on Facebook, they will basically leave the platform. If there's less people on the platform, there's less people to advertise to. If there's less people to advertise to, you know, media buyers, etc., and businesses will lose interest. And if there's no one to advertise to, then obviously, you know, the whole business model comes you know, falling down like a house of cards. So Facebook's number one priority is the user experience. And that is why, you know, you'll sometimes have situations or you'll see situations where there's a ad account that is spending hundreds of thousands of dollars, you know, a week or maybe even a day, and their ad account gets banned. And you think to yourself, why is Facebook literally disabling this account when they're spending so much money with Facebook? Because Facebook's number one priority is not necessarily to satisfy the needs of the media buyer, it's the user experience, because Facebook knows if the user leaves or if the user has a bad experience, then a result of that is that the media buyer will leave as well, okay? So it's not who has the highest bid that wins, it's about the overall total value or quality that is provided. So the way the bidding system works is basically you've got the audience that you target. So like I said, for those that are interested in football and you select you know, football as an interest, that is the audience, right? So the audience, then you've also got the offer, so what it actually is that you are offering. And then you've got the creative. So, you know, the image basically or the video, you know, whatever it is that you're using to advertise. So this is basically what they call a Facebook DNA string. So FB DNA string. No idea who first coined that term. Um, I definitely didn't come up with it myself. I do like it, but um, can't take the credit for it. Facebook DNA string. Okay, so the audience, the offer and the creative. So that is then put 
into Facebook, of course. So Facebook, so that's basically your input. Facebook is the process. And then the result of that is that you either win or lose the bid, right? So that is how the bidding system works. If you win the bid, so if Facebook thinks, okay, this is a quality advertisement, um, you're targeting the right audience, you know, the offer is, is okay, it's complying with advertising policies, and the creative is also, you know, has a high engagement rate and so on and so forth, then Facebook will um, allow you to win that bid, your advertisement will show up on the newsfeed, and um, that is basically, you know, how you run Facebook ads. So while all this is happening, Facebook, uh, the Facebook AI, I should say, so the Facebook AI is basically generating or forming an opinion on you, okay? So an opinion is formed based on what you are doing on Facebook. And that is also taken into consideration when you know, you're running ads. So the opinion is formed on your feedback score. So feedback score of the Facebook page, feedback score of the ads that were run, etc. So feedback score my apologies for the handwriting guys i know it's really bad and i always struggle with writing um on on like this this whiteboard app um so your feedback score the experience of the ad account also plays a role so um i've also had situations in the past where i've been given an ad account where they've run a lot of spammy you know non high quality not like low quality ads basically um and what i've noticed is that when you start running ads the CPM is sky high, the, the click-through rate is low, and the cost per click is sky high. And that's not because of the the advertisements or that the you know the offer is bad or the creator is bad. It's just because your feedback score uh, is very, very low. So because of the experience of the ad accounts, because uh, you've basically lost a lot of bids or you've won a lot of bids, but um, the, you know, the result of winning a lot of bids has basically you know, had a negative impact on um, the ad account. So let's say, for example, you run ads to people interested in football, but you, sh you start showing basketball advertisements or um, something negative about football, then people are going to say, okay, this is spam. I do, do not like this advertisement. Why am I seeing this advertisement, etc.? Your fee feedback score will go down. Facebook will remember that, you know, in their uh, opinion on how you run ads, and you'll notice that you'll start losing more and more bids, okay? Then, of course, we've got the engagement rate ranking engagement and then of course you've got uh, the quality ranking which is also you know like how high uh, like what's the quality like of the advertisements you know is it HD is it um, a good quality image and so on and so forth okay so basically Facebook uses all of this to form Facebook's AI I should say not Facebook itself but Facebook's AI uses all of this to form an opinion on your so advertisements and this also plays a role in if you win or lose the bid because like i said it's about the amount of quality that you provide not who has the highest bid because if that was the case then everyone would just run on cost caps and bid caps etc um, and set those extremely high so that they win all of the bids okay so that is not the case so with all of this um, with this information now we can sort of dissect where we're going wrong right because with this ios 14 update the audiences that we're targeting is obviously showing massive holes in the data. So the audience that we could previously target, let's say this is the audience that was interested in football. There we go. So that is, this is the total audience. These little circles here are the individual people. That is the audience that we've ran previously, right? Now, a percentage of those people are opting out. So let's say this person here, which we could once target because he was interested in football, we can no longer target because he's opted out. Same goes for this person here, same goes for this person here which means that Facebook usually relied on the previous data, now can no longer do so. So their opinion you know, that is formed when you're running ads, etc., is basically no longer as accurate and as valid. And Facebook knows that, Facebook can see that, Facebook AI relied on, you know, this is basically part of the Facebook DNA stream, right? And this audience has now decreased. So, you know, Facebook can no longer sort of rely on all of this which is also causing um, basically Facebook to be unsure about whether or not they should show the ads yes or no. So what can we do about this? Because obviously you know, this is ha having a negative impact on our advertisements. But what I have done and what I've noticed that works for a few of my clients, so the clients that previously, before I was 14, had successful campaigns, had high ROASs, etc. 
and the last few weeks that ROAS has dropped. If you have a client that is in that exact same situation, then try the following out. Set up a new campaign. So new, don't duplicate it because that won't work. New campaign. Then if you are running this as a lookalike audience, retargeting audience, audience, whatever it is, then re-upload all of the email lists. It can be the same email list, it doesn't really matter as long as you re-upload it. So re-upload, I'll just make an email icon just so it's easier. Re-upload email list and also re-upload the images, okay? So we four new ad IDs. Now, why does this work? Because it's the exact same campaign, right? Why not duplicate it? Because when you duplicate it, you've still got the same audiences and the same ad IDs, and that is what we basically don't want. We want everything to be new and everything to, everything to be clean in the eyes of the Facebook AI. Why? Because then Facebook will sort of reset all of this and form a new opinion on your advertisements rather than relying on old data. Because if you just switch on an older campaign or just duplicate an older campaign, Facebook will still rely on all of this old information and the old information is no longer valid because a percentage of people have opted out, a percentage of people is no longer targetable and so on and so forth. So if you re-upload everything, so delete the old email lists, re-upload the same email list again, um, you know, basically re-upload the same images, etc. use the same copy, because you know it's worked in the past, Facebook will then form a new sort of opinion on all of it and sort of run it as a fresh campaign. Basically, with that information, theoretically, it should start working again. I've used this for two of my clients now. It has worked like a charm. For those campaigns that were already performing well and still perform well despite iOS 14, do not do this. Just leave it alone. You're wasting your time. Only do this, like I said, when the campaign was perform performing well previously, and then because of iOS 14, you've noticed a drop off. With that said, also take into consideration, it is the 24th of June at the time of recording this, the Euros, so Euro 2020 uh, or 2021, sorry. Actually, it is Euro 2020, I think. I'm not sure what it is, but the Euros, you know, football is um, now obviously active at the moment, which means that a lot of people are also promoting that on Facebook. We've just had Memorial Day in face, um, you know, in the US, which is, you know, I know it's been a few weeks now, but Memorial Day has had a very big impact as well on, um, you know, the media buying space. It's like Black Friday in the US, you know, it's very big. A lot of discounts are given. So those two factors in combination with iOS 14 have obviously caused a big wobble in terms of the media buying space. So take that into consideration. But if you've noticed that, okay, despite all of this, the ROAS is dropping, the cost per page is sky high, my CPMs are going up, then try this out for yourself. And with that said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Hope you got something out of it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions regarding this, or if you've got any ideas for a new video, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you all in the next video.